The Gurgan quietly spoke. This earthquake is but an omen. The tremors that pulled the crystals into the earth and brought forth monsters are nothing compared to the darkness which is to come. But hope is not yet lost. Four souls will take up the quest of the light. And so it begins. Four orphans have been raised by the priest Topapa in the remote village of Ur. Ur! A crystal has sunk into the earth due to the earthquake, and the four boys have come in an adventurous mood. They have only intended to in te test their courage. Okay, so everybody, I'm going to be playing... Uh, well, my controller's not set up. Shit. Hold on a second, guys. We can, we can fix that. I thought it was set up. Okay, so I am playing Final Fantasy 3, and I am playing it on the Famicom, and I just want to explain myself why I'm playing it on the... Ooh! No, 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 reset. I didn't mean to... Okay, so I want to change the message speed to 8. Um, let me explain why I'm playing on the Famicom. When I played Final Fantasy 1 and Final Fantasy 2... I mean, Final Fantasy 1 had been remade and re-released so many times. It was originally on the NES, and yes, that is the version I grew up with and I loved and everything, but there were a lot of problems with that were fixed with later versions and you know it was released on msx on wonder swan on playstation on game boy advance on psp android and ios those were pretty much ports of the psp version final fantasy 2 was on most of those same systems it wasn't on the msx um final fantasy 3 never really got remakes until way later um they were going to do a version of the wonder swan but it got canceled um it was going to come out in america but that got canceled final fantasy 2 was almost completely translated and they canceled it because they thought the game wasn't good enough. And then Final Fantasy 3 they were working on, and this game is really good. This is like, if you, I enjoyed Final Fantasy 2 last time I played it on the PSP. It was my first time playing through the PSP version. Because Final Fantasy 2, I hated it on the Famicom. I hated it on PlayStation. On Game Boy Advance, I kind of tolerated it. It was a little better, but uh, the PSP version, I really liked. I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, as you guys know from that Let's Play, if you watched it. And if you haven't, you should check it out. Uh, but Final Fantasy 3, I've only ever really played on Famicom, and I really liked it. Um, they were going to do a Wonder Swan version. They didn't. Um, they were going to do, uh, you know, the NES version was going to come out, but that never came out because by the time they were starting work on the translation, 4 was already out on the Super Famicom. So, um, you know, the DS version came out, and that was like a lot of people were playing Final Fantasy 3 for the first time. But I kind of, and this may not, I may not being fair, I, I, I may not be being fair but I kind of took one look at it and decided, nah, fam, I'm good. I, I did not like the the way that it looked. I did not like the changes they made. So um, I kind of passed on the DS version. The PSP version and the Steam version are ports of the DS version. So I was really just not impressed with that at all. I didn't like the look of it. I didn't like what they did with Final Fantasy 3 on the DS or Final Fantasy 4 on the DS. Um you know, my idea of a remake is more like the PSP versions of 1 and 2, or the PSP version of 4. Um, and when I do 4, I'm going to do the PSP version. I'm not going to do, like, the Steam version, or the Android, or iOS, or DS version. I'm going to do the PSP version. But anyway, um, so that's why I'm playing on Famicom. I just like this version a lot, and I don't want to have to deal with the weird graphics and shit. Now, I know it says four boys, but, you know, in the remake, two of them are girls anyway. So I'm actually going to name them after people from Kazara Studios, because why not? So this is going to be this is going to be John. He's the leader. Now I know you're thinking like, well, Tanya's the leader. Well, yeah, but this is my channel, so this will be Tanya. Tanya. Now I have pretty good memory of this game. I might forget things here and there, but I think I can get it. This will be Carissa, but I don't think Carissa is going to fit as a name. But we do call her Rissa, so this will be the Rissa. Okay, and this will be James. Jamis. Here we go. And it puts you right into a dungeon. Ouch! We've fallen into a pit! Shucks! You also missed a bunch of treasures before you went in that pit, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. A lot of people missed that. Are we going to be alright in a place like this? Hey, it was your idea to come here. Hey, if you got time to fight, you got time to look for a way out. <laughs> they arguing already. And we got our first battle. Which is just some goblins. The music's really good in this. I gotta turn it up. Hit them goblins. I'm gonna want to do quite a bit of leveling up. Because they do um, 
hit you toward they, they do make you fight a boss right away in this first dungeon it's it's a, it's a land turtle which is basically an adamantoise and they do give you these items that can hurt it really bad what are those what are those like oh man what are we gonna do now all right now i have control but uh yeah it's a potion and oh we got a battle two more goblins do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Uh 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 Level up, you level up quickly here. Level up, level up. But I'm gonna get to level four before I fight the enemy. Uh the the boss is pretty much an adamantoise, and they're weak to ice, and you can get you can get these two things called southern wind. Southern winds that are basically ice attacks that you could use on it. You get two of them, but I, I prefer only use one, so I'm gonna get to at least level four. Huh? What's the matter? That rock's a bit odd. Now that you mention it, you add and opens up. You do it again, and it just shakes, which is weird. And there's one over here that you could do, and yeah, nothing happens. There's another leather shield. I'll give that to Tanya. We are onion kids. See, now it's closed. Isn't that weird? Because I went into the thing, but now it'll open. All right, two more goblins. There are stronger enemies in here. All right, we got them. All right. Got a potion out of that, too. It's a very easy dungeon. You could pretty much just walk straight to the boss and kill him, but I like to play things safe. So this is Southern Wind. That, that's the ice item you can use. The encounter rate is really low, so I may have to do the whole thing where you walk back and forth. So here's two eye fangs and two carbuncles. Which a carbuncle is basically like a like a zit monster. So Miss! Miss! What the hell, man? I could have that could have gone a lot better. Especially as I'm getting beat to hell. There's a heal spot too, which makes it easier to sort of like do a little bit of power leveling here. Oh! Oh! No good! Really? Now, you know what? We're going to start over again. That's some bullshit. We're going to reset it. I've never had that happen. Oh, oh. I forgot to. I can't deal with the message speed not being 8. I'm sorry, guys, but that was that was just a little crazy. I've never had that happen before in Final Fantasy III. Shitty balls, man. That is just weird. They all ganged up on the wrists of there and just fucked her up. And it's an easy dungeon, but goddamn. And Jamis. I have to go through all this shit again. But that's okay. Sorry about that, guys. That was a little. It's just crazy. You can hear this great music again. <laughs> all right, fight the goblins. This is unlock. Sometimes you get unlucky. There we go. So yeah, your class right now is Onion Kid, but very soon we'll be able to choose other classes. What are those? Potion. Love a shield. All right, equip that shit. The only bad... This is a game that uh, first introduced the um, job system to, uh, dra uh, to uh, Final Fantasy. The job system was first done in Dragon Quest III, which is a, re is a really good game, too. Um, probably like a little better than this. Well, you saw my Dragon Quest 3 playthrough probably, and if you haven't, you should check it out. Now I've done Dragon Quest 4 as well. And I plan on doing 5 fairly soon. Maybe even after this I'll do Dragon Quest 5. I haven't decided yet. But I love the music in this game. Alright, that's a little more reasonable. One Eye Fang, one Carbuncle. They were just doing a lot of damage too. It was crazy. Yeah, see, the only bad thing, though, with the job system in this is you have to de-equip your characters of everything before you change their jobs. And you will change jobs a lot. 
Um, the good thing is they give you a button. They give you a button to unequip everything immediately, which is pretty cool. It's a potion. All right, two eye fangs, two carbuncles. I think the problem I had last time is I was missing too much, and therefore the enemies survive longer. Oh, now they're missing. Because they're pretty much, like, almost always going to die in one hit. But, oh, man, Jonas got fucked up. Hopefully I can get to the healing fountain soon. I mean, I can always use a potion, but I like to try to save the potions you get early on. I don't know. Then again, they throw a lot at you because you get them from battles, too, so... Since he doesn't have a shield, he's taking more damage. So maybe I will use a potion on him. Another reason I'm doing the Famicom version is I have not done a uh, an NES playthrough, or in this case a Famicom playthrough, in a lot, in a long time. Actually, I don't think I've ever let's played a Famicom game. Let's grab that potion. All right, now the healing fountain thing's over in this direction. Yeah, there it is. It's a spring. What an odd color. Let's try drinking it. I love it. Like, hey, this is weird. Oh, battle. There's this weird colored water in this cave with monsters that we fell into. Uh, why don't we try drinking it? Yeah, they're smart. They're fucking smart. ba da ba da ba da ba See, that went well. I think I'm level 3. I want to get to level 4 before we uh, move on. Oh, level, wait, is that level 4 or is that level 3? Ah, oh, that's level 3. All right, it's going to take a little while. So then when? The 4 drank. I'm surprised they don't pick 1 to be the patsy and drink first and just see if it kills them. I feel a power welling up inside me. Hit points, magic points restored. All right, so let's just uh, walk around here and fight some monsters. You go up that way to get to the the boss. But I want to be level four. Come on. Yeah, encounter rate's so low, though. And I don't have a speed up button. The emulator I'm using, in case you're wondering, is FCEUX, which is a really, really good NES emulator. Which is funny, is this is an old fan translation from like way back in the day. And um I tell you, man, I, during the title screen, which I haven't gotten to, it, it actually tells you not to use, it says do not use Nesticle. Nesticle was like, it's not one of the first emulators, but see, back in the day, you guys don't understand, back in the day in the 90s, there were a lot of different choices for NES emulators, and there were two kinds of NES emulators. There were the kinds that were really terrible, and there were the kinds that were good, but you had to pay for them. And, and if that seems kind of crazy to pay for an emulator... Uh, I mean, maybe it's not so crazy these days because some people sell emulators on, like, Android Store and shit. But imagine having to pay for, like, an NES emulator on your computer, like, when they're, you're at a, like, you're spoiled for options, you know? Oh, God, I've been around. Like, hold on a second, guys. Jesus Christ, man. This guy, he keeps asking me, are you around? Like, I've not been anywhere but here. All right. So as I was saying, oh, yeah. So the two kinds of emulators, they were the really good ones that you had to pay for. And uh... sorry. Um, and then there were ones that were free, but they, they were crap. Nesticle was the first emulator that was good. And it was free. It was it was a really good NES emulator for the time. These days, it it's not considered a good good emulator. I mean, it graphic user interface was in full screen. It didn't have a good resolution, you know. But back then, it was like that was what you played. It, it didn't have joystick support or anything, you know. But that was what you played NES games on on your computer if you wanted to do that. And it was mostly to play games like the oh, there's a blue wisp. That's a new enemy. To play games like this that you never played before to try out like hacks and um homebrew games and shit like that but um yeah but like nesticle was like the golden standard it was like somebody made a really good emulator and re released it for free the same guy also made a genesis emulator called genesis and um he also made a, a cps2 emulator which is capcom arcade games but uh, anyway it was the golden standard 
So uh, when it got to the point where Nesticle wasn't considered as good anymore, because there were even better emulators coming out, um, you had to tell people, don't use Nesticle, and they'd be like, why would I not use Nesticle? Now it's funny because you see the title screen on this tr fan translation. It tells you don't use Nesticle, and I'm like, man, nobody's used that shit in like 15 years at least. If anybody out there is listening and you still use Nesticle, try FCEUX. Uh, well, it, the base emulator is called FCEU, which is Family Computer Emulator Ultra. Family Computer being Famicom. And, um, you know, it emulates NES games, but it's called that. And um, X is, I don't know, extra. It's a little slightly better version with more features. But um, that's pretty much the gold standard now. Nobody's going to be using Nestico. Oh, there we go. We're level four. So I'm just going to head over, heal up, and we'll fight the uh, the land turtle. I, I mean, I don't know. It, it's really just an Adamant toys. And that's sort of a, like a hint. Like, they give you the ice thing, the southern wind, and you're going to fight an Adamant toys. And those have traditionally been weak to ice in Final Fantasy. Another iFunk. Uh, iFunk. I fang. It should be I funk. I fang and carbuncle. That's time to get with the program. You could have killed that thing in one shot. Ba 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 ba. All right. So let's go and uh, fight that thing. Now we are in the wind crystal room. What is this? Something evil attacked! Oh no! Ah! So, alright, you... Here, James, you can use... I'm gonna only use one Southwind. Uh, I'm not gonna use both of them. They, they, it does a range of damage. It can do a lot of damage or it can do a little bit of damage. But hopefully I get a lot out of it. I don't want to use both. I want to kind of get... That's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. I'll probably get it in the next round. Yep, that did it. Cool. Very easy if you use one of those. Otherwise, it takes a while, but it's not a hard boss. The crystal began to sparkle. You have been chosen. Hey, the crystal talked. Take the last of the light, last of the hope remaining in me. At this rate, the light will soon vanish as well. The balance of everything is crumbling. When you take the light, you will be able to receive great strength from the crystals. You are the ones to keep the hope. You must not let this world dis disappear. I almost said despair, which would have made more sense, I think. Light surrounded the four. That's where you get your first first tier jobs. That's where you see the title screen. Don't use Nesticle. One of those Final Fantasy cold opens. <laughs> Fan translation, not for sale. That was another thing. When people had fan translation, people made these fan translations. I didn't use Nesticle. And they, they put it out there for free because they were doing it as a labor of love. They weren't doing it, you know, because they wanted it. And then there would be these really asshole people. What they would do is they would get the ROM patch and they get the ROM, they'd make a patch ROM. And then they would try to sell that ROM on eBay, which is crazy. Like, you want an English version of Final Fantasy 3 or uh, Secret of Mana 2, which is what they were calling Holy Sword Legend 3, which Neil Corlett right there, he was he was one that translated as well. I think Psalm 2 Freak might have had something to do with it as well. I think it was the same team. Um, and they would try to sell it on eBay. And I remember one time um, one of them hot-linked a screenshot on eBay from Neil Corlett's website, and he changed the screenshot. He, like, he put up another another picture that had the same URL, so it said, you know, this is a fraud, this is, you know, you can get it for free at this URL, do not buy it, and it showed that on the guy's eBay auction, which is pretty funny. eBay was not as well regulated back then. You can go outside through that magical circle. Your quest begins here, Light Warriors. All right, well. First things first, let's, let's pick some jobs. So we got to de-equip all our characters. Save remove. So just going to de-equip them all. And I'll show you kind of my technique for how I deal with shit. Oh, 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 wrong guy. Oh, I already did you. Oh my god, what the fudge, man. Okay, they're all de-equipped. It just took forever. Okay, so now let's 
we're going to make you into a fighter. We're going to make you into a monk. You are going to be a um, white wizard. And you are going to be a red wizard. I know you all expect a black wizard, but I want a red one in this case. And then I'm going to equip both knives to you. I like dual welding. You can dual weld in this. It it's um you'll be more da you'll, you'll do more damage, but you take more damage because you don't have a shield. But that works well for me. Okay, uh, I'm not going to give you weapons. Um, I don't have any equip anyway. So just put armor on you. Monks attack better without the fucking hell, without the shit anyway. Uh, I don't have anything for you to equip, so we'll do that and that. You will have the other two knives. And we're going to get out of here. And I'm actually going to end it here. I'll see you guys real soon with more Final Fantasy 3.